hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of x uh, if we have x to the power of 4 is equals to minus 4 and we find all the four roots of this equation so uh, here the very first step we are going to do is first we need to focus in the right hand side and we move the term from right hand side to the left hand side this is minus 4 when we move in the left hand side it will become plus 4 and we get x to the power of 4 plus 4 is equals to 0 and you see here uh, for in order to find the values of x uh, we need uh, to use here the completing square method uh, and for this we first rewrite this equation as this is x to the power of 4 we write it as x square and its whole square plus uh, we write this 4 as 2 square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now for completing square first we uh, write here this nice algebraic identity you know that if we have a plus b whole square it is equals to a square plus two times of a b plus b square so uh, in order to complete the square of this term we have here we have these two terms first is a square and second is b square and uh, we call uh, this is our a and if a is equals to x square and our b is equals to 2 here we have only two terms uh, that is a and b and now we need here this term only two times of a b so in order to complete the square of this equation we need to uh, add and subtract the above equation by 2 times of a b so 2 times of here our a is x square and our b is 2 so uh, yeah, for this, this term we can add and subtract this term in the left hand side of the above equation so our above equation is written as in this form so first we have this is x square and its whole square plus 2 times of a b we can add this term 2 times of x square into 2 and this is our plus 2 square and we subtract this value here 2 times of x square into 2 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now further in the next step uh, you see here we have a square plus 2 times of a b plus uh, b square so when you combine uh, these three terms uh, then uh, we will write it as x square plus 2 whole square and minus uh, here we need to multiply these terms and we get here 2 times of 2 becomes 4 times of x square and this whole equation equals to 0 and here this is uh, the our completing square and now we move uh, uh, or we rewrite uh, this equation as in this form first you have x square plus 2 whole square minus this is 4 times of x square and we write it as 2x whole square and this complete equation is equals to 0 and here we use uh, this nice algebraic formula uh, you know about that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b and now uh, for uh, using this formula we can write our above equation as first our first factor is a minus b the value of a is x square plus 2 minus the value of b is 2x again a plus b the value of a is x square plus 2 and the value of b is plus 2x and this whole equation equals to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x square minus 2x plus 2 equals to 0 and the second case is we write x square plus 2x plus 2 is equals to 0 we call this is our equation number 1 and this is our equation number 2. So these are the two quadratic equations and we can solve uh, these two quadratic equations and we easily get the values of x. 
so here first we need to focus on equation number one and from equation number one we have this is x square minus 2x plus 2 and now and now here we can apply uh, the quadratic formula so first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to minus 2 and c is equals to 2 and we state the quadratic formula as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula and now we need to put the values of a b and c here and it will become x is equals to this is minus b the value of b is minus 2 so this will be written as minus times of minus becomes plus 2 and square root of b square b is minus 2 and minus 2 square becomes 4 minus 4 times the value of a is 1 and the value of c is 2 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now here further in the next step we need more simplifications uh, and it will be written as x is equals to 2 plus minus here we need to take common 4 and it will be written as 4 times of 1 minus 2 and it is divided by 2. So here we have this is 2 plus minus the square root of 4 becomes 2 and 1 minus 2 equals to minus 1 square root and it is divided by 2. So finally we have the two roots of the given equation are here you get 2 plus minus 2 times of square root of minus 1 equals to iota and we break this fraction and we can apply 2 separately on both of these values and you see here this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 this is cancelled out by this 1 and you get here 1 plus minus iota these are the first two complex roots of the given equation which we get here from equation number 1 and now uh, we need uh, to solve equation number 2 so that first we copy down equation number 2 here it is x square plus 2x plus 2 is equals to 0 and here again we apply the uh, quadratic formula we again write the coefficients of this equation are a equals to 1 b equals to 2 and c equals to 2 and we state the quadratic formula as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so again we put the values of a b and c here the value of b is minus 2 plus minus square root of b square b is 2 and 2 square becomes 4 minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 2 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now in the next step we have our x is equals to minus 2 plus minus here we need to take common 4 inside the terms and we get here 1 minus 2 square root and it is divided by 2 uh, so here we get our x is equals to minus 2 plus minus the square root of 4 equals to 2 into square root of 1 minus 2 equals to minus 1 and it is divided by 2 and we get our x is equals to here we need to break this fraction and it will becomes minus 2 over 2 plus minus 2 into this is square root of minus 1 becomes iota over 2 these are cancelled out by each other these are also cancelled out by each other and finally we get our x is equals to minus 1 and plus minus iota so these are the other two complex roots of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos